Hi guys, it's Pamela. I purchased some boards on Amazon and I wish I had. This is the 10 by 10. They are awful. There's like a line. I haven't checked them all, but they're probably all the same. I could have got for the same price, the same boards treated. So no, I'm not treating this. This is just a plastic. I mean, a practice piece because <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen. I am going to tape this off so I don't have to worry about my paint getting away from me. The bloom swipe that I do requires a thick pillow so that your colors can float on top. And I'm using two separate, two different colors in the cell activator. This is gold yellow by Amsterdam, and this is yellowish green. So I did a little test and I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Now I already put the Pebio, hold on. Pebio high viscosity. These are so, they have like a slip to them. They just glide, they're so nice. This one's orange, iridescent, and these are all iridescent. They've got a lot of colors, but I just picked out three to start out with. This is blue, blue verde, or blue green. And this is rouge blue, roja azul. I've got like four different. The top one's English, but this is rouge blue, bleu, bleu. It's supposed to be English. Anyway, they're all iridescent and they're all the high viscosity. And I'm gonna probably order some more of these because I don't have to put pigment in them. <laughs> the pigments don't wanna hold together as much. They don't wanna glide for me, so yeah. Um, I've got Amsterdam Blue Violet with a little bit of Amsterdam acrylic ink mixed in to give it a little more vibrancy. Uh, I do that a lot. I add a little fluorescent or some sort of bright color to um, to give the color a little more oomph. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this guy today. Purple goes a long way, so that's probably too much purple. Here's the Red Blue by Pebio. And you're thinking, ooh, Red and Blue are gonna make mud. Well, hopefully not. Here's the Orange. See how it just glides? Yeah, it's so neat. Well, it glide better, but my cap is a little chunky. Um, I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? The teal. For the pillow, I'm using, you know, the same thing in my recipe, video 77, uh, the Glidden Premium. I'm using the semi-gloss and the satin. Uh, really, because I have them both, but I like them both. With just the gloss, I seem to have some white cells come up sometime. I'm not sure why that happens. It wasn't happening before, but, um, so I use like two thirds of the satin and one third of the gloss together. And then of course, one tablespoon of GAC 800 per four cups of that wall paint. And sometimes a little water, if it's been sitting, just didn't hurt to add a little water. Okay, so how? Mm -hmm. Let's do the green.
I'm gonna do it the opposite way this time. I'm going to go ahead and get these ends since my swiping tool isn't long enough. three or four minutes. Okay guys, I'm a little perturbed because the camera cut off and I don't know why. I'm using, I'm not using my cell phone today. That's what happens when you try something different. So, I don't know how much footage I just got. But, um, darn it, I was, as I was saying before I finished the tilt. <laughs> when I got to this corner right here, I had to assess before I poured off that edge how much paint is on the canvas. You kind of have to think ahead because you don't want to leave gobs of paint on the canvas. So, oh, I'm loving this one. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> 